What's good everybody, it's Destin Choice and you're watching Choice TV. So somebody brought this to my attention like, hey, talk about the Megan McQueen and Corey Raven situation. So I said, shit, why not? But honestly, I used to subscribe to McQueen, but my ass fucking unsubscribed to that nigga before I even got a chance to fucking subscribe. That nigga is boring as fuck. Just my opinion. So, if y'all don't know who Corey is, and y'all don't know who McQueen is, and you don't know who Khalil is, then don't fucking worry about it. You probably don't want to watch this video. These are for people who know who these people are. Blase, blase. Let's get into this whole situation. So, Corey Raven dated some famous dude named Khalil, Khalil Underwood, who's really, really famous for some reason. I don't know what the fuck he's famous for. Apparently, Khalil makes music. I never heard shit from this dude. I've never heard you on the radio. Like, what song did you make? What tour were you on? Because I don't recall. Anyways, Khalil is famous. Corey got fame low-key off of Khalil. They both made a channel together and boom, they created a channel called Khalil and Corey and they were very successful, but they unfortunately broke up. They broke up like two months ago and after they broke up, Corey made her own channel and then she started, you know, dating some guy or not dating, but talking to some guy named Megan McQueen. And honestly, I subscribed to Corey's channel. I supported her because I think Corey is pretty and I think she's chill and I like her personality. But I stopped watching her ass. Like, I still subscribe to her. Matter of fact, I need to unsubscribe to her after I'm done fucking filming this shit. Because when I used to watch her, I used to get so annoyed because her clickbait game is too damn strong. Like, nah, bitch. Like, nah, her clickbait game is too fucking strong. And I know I be fucking clickbaiting, but at least I be low-key low clickbaiting. Like, when this bitch will post a video, she'll be like, the truth about what happened. And her thumbnail. Or, hi, Phil right now. Or so disappointed or I'm moving out or we're getting a new house or my new roommate with my new house like nah bitch like she's like will suck a lot of the whole them breaking up situation and try to like turn it into like a vlog or whatever like nah like nah like I, like she tried to that's actually pretty smart like she'll try to suck in all those nosy ass people for views which I was one of those nosy people but then I just said nah fuck this bitch I'm not watching it anymore she nah her clickbait is just out of hand so, McQueen, a popular YouTuber slash vlogger, I don't know what the fuck he does, I just stopped watching him because he's boring as shit. Basically, they were talking, and he made a video basically, you know, putting the whole situation out there. I thought he would just want to, like, confirm that they're not talking no more and stop asking about her. But this dude was fucking spilling a whole bunch of fucking tea on this girl. No, I don't hear nothing from her. So, I go on her Twitter, you know what I'm saying, and I notice that she's talking to this nigga. Now, I don't know this nigga. I don't want to know this nigga. A lot of people were talking shit about Megan McQueen, of course, saying, blah, 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 your hair looks like shit. And, nah, y'all need to chill. Like, I kind of, I like Megan McQueen's hair. I just don't like it on him. Loki threw shots at Khalil, and Khalil also clapped back and made a video, you know, saying his little slick comment and then trying not to start drama at the same time. But you guys already know, that's how social media is. People are always misinterpreting some shit. And you guys know my nosy fat ass is always worried about somebody else's shit. I'm chilling. I'm just chilling, y'all. I'm chilling. I don't I don't get why I was even brought up. I don't know that nigga. I, I definitely don't want to know that nigga. As long as niggas don't got problems with me, I'm good. Because where I'm from, we handle problems. Face to face. So, of course, I'm going to give my opinion on the situation. When I was watching this video, Megan McQueen, he basically explained his relationship with Corey, how he felt like Corey was just using him as a rebound. Like, Corey wasn't fucking letting her old relationship go. She would always bring up her relationship with him saying, yo, like, what should I do? That's a big red flag. You never bring up your ex. Fine, y'all. Like, this is this is what I mean. Like, uh, Corey is, is very rude. Corey is very rude when it comes to manners and talking to someone, you know? Uh, and what I mean by this is that while I'm sitting there in her house talking to her about this, she's on her phone, on her phone texting, not even looking at me. She's on the laptop watching movies. She's looking around the room, like, playing with shit. You know what I'm saying? She's not, she's not, like, being respectful at all. I'm sitting here trying to have a serious conversation with her, and she's on her phone texting and going on Twitter and tweeting and shit. Like, come on now. I would have to ask her to turn off the phone so that way I can get my point across. And after I would get my point across, her response would be like, can I have my laptop back now? That's when the queen should have fucking dipped. Like, Corey basically should him like a friend, and then when she realized that this dude was attached or whatever, she would like be all slick and shady, and she basically just didn't pay him any mind, and she was just so fucking rude. Honestly, y'all see McQueen's video. You know, we get in the elevator. She's trying to kiss up on me. It was obvious that I was I was disappointed about something. It was obvious that something was bothering me. Here goes Corey again with the disrespectful manners. You know what I'm saying? She's sitting there in the elevator, 
knowing that something is bothering me. And she's in the elevator laughing. Saying things like, why do you look so defeated? While she's laughing. Why, she's saying, why do you look so disappointed? While she's laughing. And that ticked me off, man. Like, don't, don't disrespect me like that. Don't it make me feel like I'm a child. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This girl didn't reach out to me for three days. Kept telling me she was going to hit me, but never did. Played too many egotistical games. Had me waiting while making up lame ass excuses. And then went to talk to her ex, which supposedly she wasn't going to let back into her life. And your response is, I didn't do anything wrong. And of course that caught, caused some type of conspiracy and all that stuff. But then everybody really liked them together in the vlogs and stuff. People would be like, damn, when he found a wife, Corey. And now all of a sudden people are saying, well, you know, you have to understand that she just got out of her relationship three months ago. You have to give her time. And it's like, a lot of y'all haters, a lot of y'all comments were just, were, were always saying, damn, you need her even wife her. You guys are so cute together, blah, blah, blah. And now you guys are saying, you know, Corey just got out of a relationship. Stop. YouTube is a fucking mess, honestly. Personally, this dude sounded like he was friend-zoned or some shit. Like, he was doing this much for some pussy. Like, he was over here saying that he would, like, leave parties and try to, you know, go to her house when she was, like, feeling hurt or feeling alone or feeling sad. And it's like, they were just talking and she disrespected him. And maybe he was just too much of a nice guy. Or maybe she just wasn't over her ex, honestly. That's just really how it be. And when I was watching this video, I was like... <clears throat> Good taste, good taste. Mm. Fuck her. Put that bitch on blast. Hold the fuck up. Khalil Loki clapped back. He made his video talking about his piece, you know, giving his opinion on the whole situation. Life, she could come to me and talk to me about whatever. You can't expect us to just not be friends after we were together for so long. And he pretty much handled it. On a scale from A to F, he handled it like a C average. He threw shots, said a little bit slick comments, and he said things like, I don't care if she's married or I don't care if she's talking to somebody, that's still gonna be my best friend. That's a red flag, nigga. Nah, that's a red fucking flag. Like, what does Cleo mean? I'm still gonna be her best friend. Like, that's cool. Y'all could be cool, but be her best friend and always be there for her? That's a little bit too fucking much. I don't know about y'all or how they do things in LA. But that's a little fucking weird. That's pretty much like a modern dynamic. Like, you're the ex, which means you shouldn't even be involved in her life. Y'all could be cool. Y'all could have no hard feelings. But why the fuck is Khalil saying, you know, we could be best friends and stuff? And no, that's just not okay. Like, I can understand McQueen's frustration. I can understand why he made this video. He handled it pretty maturely. He didn't add any cuts, jump cuts in this video because he was, like, speaking from the heart of how upset he was. And honestly... I don't give up Woman Queen. He he clickbait's too much for me. Like his clickbait is too much for my taste. Like I'll put I got in a fight with Pontiac May D, Pontiac May DDG featuring Chandler Alexis, Kelly Sweet, Logan Paul. Like he'll just do too much with the clickbait and I don't keep up with this shit. I looked up this information, did my research, found out as much information as I could, and personally I feel like McQueen maybe said a little bit too much, maybe you shouldn't be putting that out there, but of course YouTube is therapeutic, maybe him Putting it out there was helping him get over it. That is my opinion as to how I feel about the situation. Honestly, this situation is just so fucking funny to me because I thought Khalil was Khalil and Corey, like, I thought they were just like doing this whole publicity stunt thing, like, oh, we broke up, like some DMV Nation shit. Because they broke up around the same time and DMV Nation broke up. So I thought this was just some publicity shit. But apparently they're broken up. And Megan McQueen said in this video that Corey is very fucking rude, and he's right, she is very fucking rude. He'll be talking to her, saying how she how he feels about her, and it should just be on her phone, texting on her laptop, watching movies and shit. And I'm like, bro, you were friend zone dummy? You were friend zone. She that bitch never gave a shit about you. Fuck her. Fuck her. Fuck Corey. And then I know and then I low key felt like, you know what's funny? When Khalil did his like little response and stuff, he did his response because McQueen did upload this video and everybody kept asking Khalil, blowing up Khalil about it and saying, oh, McQueen threw shots at you, which McQueen kind of did. And he said the same thing McQueen did. I don't know this dude and I don't want to know this dude. Stop about the situation. Comment your thoughts down below. What should I talk about next? And yeah, that's that. Choice out this bitch. I told that whole get that money up, man. But I'ma bust that plug anyway. I don't turn money down any day. I don't got no job, I work the stain. Bro ain't got no job, he work the stain. Back in high school, I would work the pickles. These bitches rollin' them top of fields.